to do. Now, the most important thing here for Phoenix is really all about survival. That's the thing that uh, you, need, you need guys like Jason Perkins and even the rest of them. And on the other end here, you tell, take a look at Magnolia. They experiment with a very big three big man group in game number two. That's Tyler Bates. Number two, Sean Mangante. At center is the Fuel Masters import. Number 10, Jonathan Williams. City number 42, James Lapos. At guard from Cagayan de Oro. Number six, Gio Alano. Welcome back to Ball of Asia Arena, where Magnolia was trailing by five, but now only trails by two after Tyler Bay hits another three-pointer here. I think there's a lot of advantages that Tuffin can provide, especially with this sheer size playing that uh, point guard position. Paulie hits another three-pointer here for Magnolia. James, I think Phoenix will be able to match up against Magnolia, not until that... Um, Magnolia defense. Well, at least early on, early returns here. It's been a good shooting day. Oh, as Paul Lee gets a three and one. RJ Azul says that there was a kick out. Back to back threes. And uh, they will be using uh, Paul Lee more. Now, what happens is can Paul or any of the Magnolia players sustain? Even Tyler Lee. Paul Lee. Goes back Manganti with a nice side dribble. Paul Lee in his back, but that time goes straight to dump it. Pushing the pace here, RG Azor. They have so many schemes. Gio Halalon going inside, finding Rafi Rivas. The rare shot here from Rafi Rivas. You know, those are big, big contributions. see Mark Baroja. Waiting for the pick there from Lapo, trying to shrug off Manganti. He has a bit of space in the floater. It's pure. He is another, I would say, pain. <laughs> He's going, definitely going to be a pain for Phoenix. You know, Mark Barroja is always a big-time player who always rises to the occasion. And the hard part is he plays it well for the floor. Perkins can get a turnaround jump for the fall. The scoring has slowed down here for Phoenix. Magnolia trying to push the pace again. 17 to 11. Gio Halalo finding his way inside. That's a tough look. They have a lot of uh, speed going in. Uh, to that uh, backcourt, and even some of their threes have been really quick. But, through. but then, Paolo, look at this right here. He was erased. Rahan Misi now feeding Tyler Bay inside. Mismatch there with Morphon. Captain of Weba feeding in Sangalari. Oh, wow. That was, you know, in the, end of the last second, he still gave it to his teammate right there. And again, that connection has been there since then. Pass the ball. You know, you're always going to be worried that Magnolia will be able to steal it. In Sanzana, it's the high, high floater to go. For Phoenix, as we take a look at this high looping shot from You know, Phoenix would really have to uh, shore up on the offense. They need that offense to go, or else it's going to be low scoring and very hard for them to put him the points. Richie Rivero with the steal and the finish on the board. Let's take a look at this again. The steal from Richie Rivero. And giving Magnolia a taste of their own medicine. A quick Calvin Cueva up top. Tyler Bay, he has great eyes and he found another assist courtesy of Ian Sangala. So how can Phoenix try and contain this Magnolia team who is firing all cylinders and what but all the fires in This is going to be a big problem because um, right now when you look at the way Magnolia has really been scoring here, there's, you know, Phoenix is just like being, uh, every time there's a quickness advantage for whoever matches up against who uh, between the Phoenix and Magnolia. So if it's a backcourt, the backcourt gets beaten off pick and roll, then that's going to be a problem because they score. Majority of the points and all the breakdown here is coming from penetration and easy, easy passes off the and Macy joins in the party, gets a three of his own. Welcome back to Mall of Asia Arena. 31-17 is the count going into this one. It has been another great quarter for Magnolia. And what a finish here from Richard Rivera to get them going here talking about Phoenix. As much hullabaloo this Phoenix team causes in terms of uh, their defense, their changing, switching defenses. But then, it's not the standard of Magnolia so far. Yes, uh, I mean, the, the, the pressure defense alone of the backcourt and Tyler Bay, of course, really being a perfect. So Phoenix really crumbling here on the offensive end and Magnolia finding so many ways to score here. 
even that look, it, it looked like that had no reason. But after that, Mamadori just collapses so fast. The extra pass, second, third extra pass would definitely help. Uh, he drains another three-pointer for Magnolia. Norman, uh, you know, all the sharing and all the learnings really came, and, you know, that's why Coach Jamaica is really doing a great job. Puffin gets another three to fall. It feels like it's little interaction. As Joe Alalo finds a way to save it. Tyler Bay, this time going inside, avoiding two teal shirts, and gets the soft touch. The key is really to try your best. I think Tyler Bay would have not made that shot. Garcia attacking Paul Lee with Aparin. That's his normal look, though. Gio Lalo, Trigueke, Paul Lee from the logo again, and that is money! <laughs> He's been practicing that shot, Paolo, so it doesn't really surprise you because in, in uh, social media, he's been posting a lot of those training sessions that he had, and he's been really hitting it from the parking lot, even with the car closed. Here, <laughs> <laughs> 20-point lead here for Magnolia. As you take a look at Paul D, it feels like his spot is forever the UT Bay on tour. But then, now that he has earned the confidence of coach Chito Victorero, it feels like now they have another great rotational piece here that they could... Um, you know, Coach Chito saw the openings that uh, uh, Phoenix was really giving up the rest of the game. Another turnover here for Montoya. Back-to-back turnovers as Rafael Reedis runs down the lane as if he were the age of... Johnson Williams. Trying to make something out of nothing, and finally, with 1.15 left here in the second half, the second quarter rather, he gets his first field goal. So he and Sangalang admitted this mistake. He already got it locked in, but that additional, that space that he was, uh, that uh, he allowed, just gave that lane wide open to Williams. Paul Lee, quick dribble, no good. He and Sangalang first of the ball. They cannot, uh, you know, Phoenix cannot get out hustled at this stage. Jonathan Williams, JB. Mohon finding Williams again. Mohon left open, pulls up for three. First possession here goes to the Phoenix Super LPG Fuel Masters, who trimmed the lead down here to 51 38, as it is an end one opportunity here for Jonathan Williams. Great story here for Phoenix coach. Well, right now, this is a very aggressive move of uh, Jonathan Williams. He's got to do a lot more of that. Um, you know, if Coach Chito Victorero, Tuffin practices like the way the locals like Calvin Abueva practices every time. Tuffin gets a big three to trim the lead down. But because, you know, Magnolia just devised a brilliant game plan on defense, it's making him think or even hesitate on driving harder to the basket. And that's a great drive then for Tyler Bay. You gotta really just give it, you know, uh, be intent. Paul Lee right in front of him. Getting a bit of movement here. Perkins has it. Perkins trying to beat the oh. inside. Seeing a lot of you were seeing a different Jonathan Williams. Rafi Rivas, who's seen a lot of extended minutes here for Cochito Victorero. A turnover here, miscue from Bay and Rivas. Jonathan Williams will attack the veteran going inside and getting through the ball. He's fired up. He can sustain that. Phoenix has a good chance in this game. Well, this best move of the game is brought to you by Honda, the official motorcycle of the PBA. His name is Jonathan Williams. To Gio Halalo, and RJ is in front of them. They get the switch here. Halalo, Natasha, fighting Calvin Abrema. Beautiful play there. Brilliant play there by the guards of Magnolia. Four-point lead here for Magnolia. They were all tied up at 54 all. Four and no run for the hot shots. Monanti. The floater from the free throw line. Kenneth Tuffin working on Gio Halalo gets away, and that is a good steal there from Calvin Abueva. Gio Halalo running the floor. Gio with an easy two. Around 57% from the free throw line with the amount of uh, touches that you had. Uh, that's definitely going to be in the favor of Magnolia. Arte Azul gets the lead to Phoenix. He wasn't like on ball on an isolation or a, a, or a pick, or rather a post post game. JB Mokon with the jumper. JB Mokon 
starting up the party once again for Phoenix with his turnaround J in front of Paul Lee. Well, they need to exploit other members of that team, and it cannot always be Jonathan Williams or even Kenneth Tuffin. Other players like Mohan and the rest of the guys would have to make Paul Lee working inside, kicking it out to Gio Lalo. Short shot clock here. Gio to Paul Lee to save the possession. Paul oh, Lee with a three. That was big. That was big. Phoenix played wonderful defense, but at the last second, Paul Lee with his magical three. It felt like they played good defense for 23.4 seconds, but it was that point six that was the biggest difference maker. Kenneth Tuffin going inside, attacking Laput. Jonathan Williams gets that ball. You know what's nice about on the story so far of the game? Going inside, Tyler Bay. Getting two in once more. Good start here for Magnolia. Verano found a way to save that possession. Jonathan Williams now facing a double team. Pulls up for the oh. shot and got it to fall. That was big. That was big. I mean, shot clock for Emmett. Back to Halalan up top. Playing switching defense here. Almost lost possession there. Halalan free for a second. Unable to get that to fall. RJ Azul. Feeding JB Mopot, who has a bit of an open lane. Attacking Lapot will score. Was that's four big, two. that's big. At Magnolia, by playing great defense, and the way the guards of Magnolia has been exploding. Rafi Verano in front of them. What can Paul Lee do here? Waiting for the pick. Goes to the side, long two. That's good. That screen has been so big. And it only takes one brush of that defender to get Paul open. James Lapworth, again, once he sets a screen, that's a very easy screen assist that could happen. J.P. Mokon, great fake. Jonathan Williams, baby that shot a bit, but Verano keeps the possession alive. Six seconds on the shot clock to play with. R.J. Azul, that's yes! Big, that's big, The team needs it most. On one side of the court. R.J. Azul, he'll pull up the three again. And R.J. Azul is on fire! To the other, R.J. Azul getting six points in quick order. But they pulled up a reverse sweep and won that series. And that is exactly the energy, the inspiration, the purpose being here as they attempt to pull up the same team. Back to you guys. This opportunity there for Phoenix, but they still lead 85 to 71. We've seen a comeback from Phoenix in the third quarter. Let's see whether or not Magnolia can do something similar here in the fourth. As Scalvin of Weber gets a much needed two pointer ball. This is the pick. Perkins, eight seconds on the shot clock. They find Jonathan Williams third. Great find inside and an end one. Around three passes before giving it to Williams and thus the score of that. I think this Magnolia team will literally escape, come rolling back. Perkins, Dan Calvin of Weber going inside, getting the bucket and one. Yeah. These are minutes you have to win. Yes, and, and it's not only that. Um, Coach Chief. He falls into the category of uh, you'd love to have as a teammate, you hate as an opponent. Oh, definitely. Galvin is... And there he is attacking a former teammate, Galvin and Weber, getting two and an end one opportunity. This is really dangerous. You don't want Calvin to get involved and to energize his Magnolia team. Yes. It's so hard to close out games. Close out games are the hardest games to win, and I think we're seeing that here in particular. As Jonathan wins the third, goes in for the slam. Yes, that's very true. Um, the hardest thing, even in the, in the finals, is like closing out games. It really takes a lot of effort, a lot of composure, poise, you know, in situations like this. Gio Ladon can't get the three to fall. Offensive rebound from Tyler Bay and makes something out of nothing. Something. Finding a way to keep the dribble alive and gets the jumper to fall. What about Kenneth Tuffin in this game? 2.30 left here in the fourth quarter. Shamanganti, pull up in the corner. Those are big, big shots. See, Xavier, and the three-point shot has been a big weapon for Phoenix this entire game. 99 to 83. Experience moving forward as well. Yes, you know, the experience uh, definitely helps out a lot because we have a lot of these guys who are very young. Tyler D is one of them. Well, this young Phoenix side is just a few seconds away from claiming their first ever semifinals win against a highly touted Giants of Magnolia. 103 to 85 is the final score here at the Mall of Asia Arena. And Coach Jamaica really ensures there is another game.